it's a reality. So how does that feel to be back top of the world? Well, I'm obviously um, very proud of the, the achievement, but I haven't been really uh, reflecting on that and I haven't been really focusing on that too much because it's in the middle of the week. So I, I, I guess uh, it'll be different when, uh, when I finish this tournament and, and hopefully the, the year-end you know, ranking stays the same. So that's, that's the aim and obviously then I'll, I'll be able to, to uh, reflect on my emotions and share with you more. So Novak, you've got to feel like Lady Lux with you a bit, with Rafa uh, withdrawing and then a walkover today. Mm. Um, do you have concern that you're not being challenged right now? And you know, sometimes it's that momentum into the later rounds that gets you. I, I'm not, to be honest. I don't need a match play, um, so I'm not looking for extra time on the court. I'm not concerned that I don't have enough time on the court. I played a lot of matches, especially in the last you know, five months and, um, you know, I've, I've won a lot of matches, so obviously, you know, results help to build confidence and when you have a high level of confidence, then obviously, you know, you feel more comfortable with the certain shots that you wouldn't normally feel comfortable if you don't have a high level of confidence. So it's quite different for me playing tennis in the last three, four months than the first three, four months of the year. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big, big change in terms of, you know, in terms of, um, the level of that confidence, and uh, it's not it's not the end of the the season. You know, Rafa obviously struggling with injuries. Uh, you know, since since the U.S. Open, but uh, it, you know the race is still there. You know, Roger is in the race. Rafa is in the race. You know, it depends if he's going to play London. So, as I said, you know, I can't be too uh, ecstatic about it. You know, I'm, I'm obviously. Um, you know, not happy to see him being injured and pulling out from the tournament. Uh, you know, in 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 this uh, final race, you know, for top rankings. But at the same time, if you know, reflecting on what I've been through in the last year, it, it's it's uh, quite a quite phenomenal achievement. And I, you know, of course, I'm very very happy and proud about it. Um, five you know five months ago, if you told me that, it would be. I, I always believe in myself, but it was highly improbable at that time, considering my ranking and the way I played and felt on the court. So, uh, yeah, as I said, you know, I'll probably be able to speak more profoundly about it um, uh, when the season is done and hopefully if I get to finish as number one. But just to, to add to that, I mean, the fact that only two people have ever done what you've done outside the top 20 for one part of the year and then number one, the other one, the other one was Safin. The fact only two people have done that must surely make you feel very proud and add weight, considerable weight to the achievement of getting back to number one. It is. I haven't, uh, I did not hear about the, that fact. So thank you for enlightening me with that. Um, yeah, I mean, look, uh, I, I know you guys want to speak about this uh, right now because it's, it's, uh, it's fresh. Nadal pulled out from the tournament. From Monday, I'll be officially number one. I, I understand you guys want to go in depth about it, but as I said, please respect that I'm in this tournament and I have to focus on 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 every match, you know, in this tournament and and try to, you know, uh, get as far as I can, and then I'll be able to speak more about it uh, next time we see each other. Novak, congratulations on moving on to. Uh the next round in this tournament. And to that end, your next round opponent is Marin Cilic. You've split the two matches that you've played against each other in 2018. And the last time that you played each other here in Paris, uh, Marin beat you in straight sets. What type of challenge does he pose for you uh, in your next match together? Well, I had a very good head-to-head -head record until that match, actually, a few years ago here. And then, um, you know, uh, uh, he, he was playing really well, I remember it. Um, you know, he likes playing indoors, obviously, he has a big serve and big, big game from back of the court. It's just, it's just very powerful uh, style of tennis and, uh, you know, he's been playing well this two matches here I've seen him play and, and uh, it's going to be a tough one. I mean, tough to receive his, um, his missiles, you know, first serves are really, really fast and, and, and he uses a lot of rotation and, and variation in the, in the, in the, uh, with the serve and if it, you know if he has a first serve uh, percentage quite high then it's obviously a, a big challenge to, to play him because he's got, he's got a really big game from back of the court great great backhand 
uh, flat, you know, he can play very aggressively and he can also defend well. So, but look, I, I know his game. I've, uh, I've, I've played him many, many times and we practice a lot. We, we respect each other. We get along very well. We speak the same language. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be a great, great match. So Novak, your game's evolved tremendously over the years. Um, and looking at where you are now, how much of your original coach Yelena's influence is still there? Uh, well, she built my foundation, you know, for uh, the tennis and the base that um, that I later on I've I've been, you know, adding and building uh, upon that base. But the base is definitely from her and. Uh, you know, I spent, uh, you would say, a crucial years of my development as a, you know, person and a tennis player. I spent five years with her from, from seven to 12. And, um, you know, th those, those, that's the age and those are the years when you're actually, um, you know, building a good foundation of, of the skill set, uh, the mindset. Um, and just the way you go about tennis and how you approach it. So she, I was very fortunate to really have her in my life um, as, as my tennis mother, as I like to call her. And uh, she really cared about me and about my grades in school, about how, you know, I treated other people and relationships and everything. So she worked hand in hand with my mother and, and father and they uh, trusted her. So she was that real mentor that I, uh, that I needed in order to, um, you know, I guess learn things about tennis, but about life in general. And I was mentioning before we, you know, we uh, were reading poetry, listening to classical music, uh, looking at uh, tons of videos from uh, different sports and tennis. And so she, she, she had this very holistic approach in life. And I think that's why today I, I do, I do have that same approach. You know, I feel like every, every aspect of your life or being or everything you do say or act, you know, uh, reflects on, uh, on your on your career on your results and doing you know just in life in general